Welcome, everybody, to Cooking with Poppy. Today, my granddaughters, Guinevere and Arwen, will be helping me make a nice, meaty lasagna. Please be sure to leave a comment to let us know what you think of this recipe. But most importantly, like and subscribe. Today's recipe, we're going to be using a couple of slices of nice smoked bacon, one medium red onion, one carrot, and some fresh herbs. So let's go ahead and get this knife work started. Let's slice this bacon into about quarter inch chunks. Now I'm gonna dice this medium sized red onion. And we need to grate one carrot. I've got my pan on medium heat. Let's add a good amount of olive oil and two big tablespoons of butter. Now let's cook this for a few seconds until we get a nice brown butter going. And then we'll add our chopped bacon. Now we're looking to just render down the fat in the bacon. This will give the ragu part of our lasagna a lot of flavor. That's browning up nicely, so now we can add our vegetables. Add your diced onion and your carrot. Cook the onion and the carrots for three minutes. Add a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. We'll give it a quick stir and then we'll be ready for our two kinds of meat. I'm gonna add a half a pound of nice Italian sausage and one pound of ground beef. And then I'm gonna use this wooden spoon to just get the meat broken up. I'm gonna switch to my ground beef chopper. Cook only until your ground beef is no longer red. Once your ground beef is cooked all the way through, let's add one half glass of red wine. This will give your meat sauce a little bit of a sweetness to it. Let's add some oregano. And I'm going to add at least a tablespoon of fresh cracked black pepper. Let's make sure we've gotten everything all mixed together. Now I'm going to add two cups of crushed tomatoes. Once you get it all stirred together, make sure you use your tasting spoon and check your seasoning. I think I'm going to add just a little bit of salt. Now I'm going to make sure everything is well mixed together. And I'm going to turn the heat down until it's just barely simmering. And I'm going to let it cook for at least an hour. That will give all those flavors a chance to mix and get to know each other. And maybe one more last little taste. While our ragu is cooking down, let's go ahead and mix up our filling. We're going to start with two cups of ricotta cheese. To that, I'm going to add two eggs. Be sure to tap your eggs on something flat and not on the edge of the bowl so you don't put little chips of shell inside the egg. Give it a really good mix. Now I'm going to grate about a half a cup of a really nice Parmesan cheese into the filling. That should be just about enough. Add one teaspoon of cracked black pepper. Add one tablespoon of oregano. And with a quick stir, the filling is ready. I'm going to cover this and put it in the refrigerator for about an hour. 
Grate about a cup and a half of Parmesan cheese that will finish out this lasagna. Another quick taste test tells me this sauce is ready. So I'm going to get everything together and I'm going to make this lasagna. Just a splash of olive oil. Coat the entire dish and we're going to start with a generous scoop of our meat sauce. Then we'll lay down some no boil pasta sheets. Followed by a nice scoop of the meat sauce. Maybe a little more over here in this corner. Followed by a layer of our ricotta cheese filling. On top of that, we'll spread some nice grated Parmesan cheese. Next comes a layer of fresh sliced mozzarella. And now we're just going to repeat the process. A couple scoops of sauce, spread it evenly, lay down the pasta sheets, add some more sauce, cover the sauce with a ricotta filling. Cover the filling with some shredded Parmesan. And now we're going to cover the whole thing with aluminum foil. And put it in a 375 degree oven for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes in the oven, we need to take the aluminum foil off. And cook for another 30 minutes at 375 degrees. The sauces are bubbling, all the cheeses are nice and gooey, nice and brown and crispy around the edges, and the smell is amazing. Now this is a very important step. You must let this lasagna rest for 30 minutes before you cut into it. That's going to give your lasagna time to set up. We hope you enjoyed this video today, and as always, Thanks for coming, everybody.